I've got a really good one for you. You're smart, so what's going on here? I know exactly what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rob, that's clearly an umpire wearing an apron being harassed by an adder, Britain's only venomous snake. Nuh-uh. What that is, is a numpire wearing a napron being harassed by a nadder. I mean it. For centuries, we've been getting these words wrong. The fact that in English we put an instead of a in front of nouns beginning with a vowel is a minefield for mistakes. So for example, if I say to you, I need a nap, there is no way of telling whether I've just told you I'm feeling a little bit tired or whether I'm desperate to download some software. This ambiguity has on multiple occasions resulted in words beginning with N, having that N stolen away by the A, usually because of a mistake made by some Middle English scholar who'd only ever heard the words said out loud and never seen them written down. So take the Middle English word numpire, which was at one point spelt like that. That got wrongly written down as an umpire. The same can also be said for a nadder and a napron. But it hasn't been a one-way street. Occasionally a word beginning with a vowel has gained a new N. For example, the cute little amphibian that we call a newt was originally called an ute. And what we call a nickname, for example, Rob the Unit Watts, which I'm really hoping will catch on, was originally called an eek name. You don't have to take my word for it on this stuff. There's evidence of the original words still buried in other languages. For example, the French word for a tablecloth, nap, has the same root as napron and also napkin. The German word for an adder is still eine nata. And in Sweden, someone might well have an uknamn. And by the way, we should count ourselves grateful that not all of the errors made by Middle English scholars caught on. If they had, we might be finding a nostrich confusing a napple for a neg. Annoyance. As in, an annoyance. Stupid. And that's the end of this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've enjoyed it, you've found it interesting, you've learned something new, please do like it and share it. Bye.